My hands shake and quiver as I attempt to recount you this story. A new terror is haunting this country. Someone is murdering all of the gummy bears. I was the man tasked with solving this mystery, and nothing would stop me from finding justice. This killer led me on a mission to the ends of the earth and back. But nothing would let me forget the gruesome, bloody sights I saw. This one's body was decapitated. His head was found nearby the site. This one was torn limb from limb in a gruesome showing of brutality. We have decided to show you this gummy bear from behind. As the front of his face was ripped clean off. This gummy bear had its legs ripped straight off by the killer, and he was left here to die. Thankfully, however, he has since made a full recovery and is living in peace. The killer has seemed to have left me a trail of dead corpses leading me to his location. I killed the gummy bears. But why, I hear you asking, why would you kill these innocent, innocent creatures? Do not worry, for I shall tell you. The gummy bears were some of the wealthiest people in America. And some, like myself, would stop at nothing to inherit even a fraction of their wealth. I had befriended a gummy bear named John F. Charlson. We had developed a close friendship, and he had written me into his will. This was his first mistake. Charles had a very large family of massive amounts of wealth. They had all written Charles into their will, so if they were to die, Charles would get the money. Now. If I could kill all the family members, uh, they would all give their money to Charles. Since I'm in Charles's will, if I killed Charles, Charles would give the money to me, and I would inherit the entire gummy bear wealth. And so, that is what I did. One by one by one. All of the gummy bears were murdered by me. But what I had not expected is that one of the gummy bears survived, and he took me to court for murdering his family. This was Benjamin H. Thornthaw, the only gummy bear that had survived my murder attempts. And naturally, when he took me to court, he won, and I was sentenced to prison for life. But Ben here was the only gummy bear left alive, and soon he too bit the dust. He would join what would become to be known as the Graveyard of the Gummy Bears. <laughs>